Hi everyone, this is Layla. I'm back with a collective haul. Um, recently I went to Michael's um, Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Store. I needed to pick up some project pieces. Um, the Michael's had sale on their paper. They were five for a dollar, so I took that opportunity and grabbed some. Um, I'm going to start with the Dollar Store first because I just have a couple of things from there that I purchased. Um, I don't have the fake flowers that I purchased because I did a project for my daughter's rooms and uh, I used it up in there um, however I'll show you the other two things I picked up from there um, it's these two um, notepads they're the magnetic notepads um, and I got inspired by Scrappy Bookworm um, she, uh, she created uh, magnetic note uh, notebooks and I wanted to try those from so I bought two of them to try with, and these are from the dollar store. And I, as I said, the fake flowers I don't have to show, uh, but I will show the project I used them in. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and I just grabbed a couple of necessities. One of them was the um, this uh, blade. Um, I really needed a precision blade, so I, I grabbed this one. Uh, this orange paint, it's glitter paint for 89 cents. Um, I grabbed that. The next thing I grabbed are these yellow and white bows. They were for 59 cents on clearance. I really liked them. I thought they were really pretty, so I grabbed a pack of those. And the uh, sticky, uh, double-sided sticky tape. Uh, and that's that's all I grabbed from Hobby Lobby. Then I went to Michael's and um, I grabbed these two ribbons. They were from the $1.50 bin and it's in yellow and red. Um, they're really, really pretty trims. Then again from the $1.50 I bought these acrylic uh, flowers and it's like a white baby pink, uh, like a fuchsia pink and a teal. And they're really, really pretty. I really liked them. Then also I grabbed these two. These are the Studio G glitter paint or glitter glue, excuse me. And they were on sale on Clarence for 50, 59 cents, I believe. And this is a really pretty orange color. And this one is a sort of forest green. You can kind of sort of tell the color. Um so I thought that I didn't have these two colors in my stash. Then I purchased these flowers, uh, and they were 50 cents on clearance. And they're by Treasures by Shabby Chic. And I thought they were really pretty because they're white. I could use them as is, or I could alter them to whatever color I needed them to be. Then, also by Treasures by Shabby Chic, I picked up one of these uh, notepads. And this was, this was 50 cents also. And I wanted to create again one of those note uh, magnetic notepads, so I thought this was really pretty. And I picked up a couple of stickers. Um, this is kind of like acetate uh, sticker, um, and it's butterflies and flowers um, with rhinestones, and it's really really pretty. You can see the glitter on it, and it is it was seventy nine cents on clearance. The same with this. This is kind of like that. And it says, like, I love you, get well, happy birthday. And it has, like, stars inside if you shake it. Um, I don't know if you can see the stars. but um, It's in there. It's really, really pretty. Then um, my daughters, my 5-year-old and my 3-year-old, they wanted to make scrapbooks. And I made scrapbook for my oldest one, the 5-year-old. Um, and my 3-year-old wanted a scrapbook. So I bought her this book from the dollar section of Michael's and it's just a plain blank book and I'm going to cover it up with paper um, inside out and she's going to decorate it and I'll come back and show you guys what she does um, I mean she's only three years old and my five year old already has done it and she wants to record a video so I'll come back with that too and then she picked up these two stickers uh, Ladybug and Princess and these were also, well, this one was on sale. This one was full price, so I got those two. She wanted Kitty Cat um, for her book. So 
I purchased these kitty cat um, papers. Uh, this one is the Hello Kitty uh, Garden Collection. And it's really cute. Um, that one. Then this is the Hello Kitty Ribbon Collection. Then I purchased two of the Disney, um, the Mickey and Friend Portrait Collection. And I purchased two of them. Because she wants uh, Minnie Mouse on her book too. So I thought this would be really pretty to fussy cut. And we can, you know, play with it. Um, then I picked up this one. These these are by recollection. And this is the floral patchwork. I thought it was really pretty because you could fussy cut these to make tags, make borders. Um, and you could do endless things with this. So I thought it was a really pretty paper. This one is... I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, this is by K and Company. You can see right there. Uh, I don't know what collection it's from. It doesn't say. Hmm. I don't know. Well, it's really pretty. It has like swirls and paisleys and butterflies and um, flowers everywhere. It's really pretty. The color combo is really nice. This one is for my older son who's two years old. And it's the recollection construction, it has trucks, so I was going to do like a layout for him out of this paper. This one is from our girls' pictures when we went to Disney World. Um, I was going to do a little 12x12 12 12 layout for them. And um, I added, I bought Tangled, because they didn't have any other Disney princesses but Tangled, so I picked that one up. This is from Recollections, and is Girl with Poodle. It's up there. And it's really pretty. It's a little girl with a poodle. Um, I just thought it was the little bird. Um, I just thought it was really, really pretty. And then, again, this is uh, by Recollections. It's Pink Paris. And it's very Parisian. It has the Eiffel Tower in pink and it says Paris. I actually wanted to do a, a little layout with it. So, I thought that was pretty. Um, this one is also by Recollections. It's the Cherry Blossom Tree. And it has like a little cherry blossom tree on the corner. Very pretty. This one is... Oh, I thought I picked up two of these, but I really could be wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought I picked up two, but I didn't. Apparently. Um, again, this one is the Recollections. It's the Floral Squares. Very pretty paper, um, again, good for making tags or uh, picture borders and things of that nature. I really love this paper. I think I'm going to go get some more. Uh, this one is by Recollections also. It's called Itsy Bitsy Ditsy Cherry Pie. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's very pink and floral. Uh, I love floral prints. I don't know if you've noticed that by now. I picked up two of these. It's the Recollections Love Letter Collection, and I really, really like this, too. It's the bird on the right-hand side, and then the bird's on the bottom. Um, I really, really like this collection, so I want. I picked up two extra of these papers. This one is by Kane Company. Um, and I really don't know where they write their collection, so I can't tell you guys. I don't know. But it's like a little heart with feathers, swirls, and lace. Very pretty. This one is, again, by Recollections. It's the blue floral print. Very pretty. Flowers everywhere. Recollections teal butterflies. And, oh yes, I did buy, the, buy two of the floral squares. Uh, this is the Recollections teal butterflies. It has butterflies everywhere. I thought it would be great for fussy cut or picture frames. I'm sorry, not picture frames. Matte picture mats. Um, so I thought this was really adorable. And again, Recollections, the Yellow Rose Collection. And again, it has flowers <laughs> and roses everywhere. I'm obsessed with roses and flowers and anything and everything beautiful and vintage. So, uh, that is all for my collection, uh, or my haul from Michael's and uh, Hobby Lobby and Dollar Store. And I'm working on a couple of projects. I'll be returning pretty soon with videos on those projects and my daughter's uh, scrapbooks. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.